It is now 945. Hood River is celebrating the change of season this weekend. We're on the go with I.O. Checking out the Hood River Valley Harvest Fest. I have to say Hood River is one of my favorite places in Beautiful. Oregon. I just love it there. And I.O., we noticed uh, before we went to break, you're going to need a, a bigger carving knife for the size of those <laughs> pumpkins there. <laughs> You know, maybe, but we'll leave it up to the expert. I'm here with Tom to talk a little bit more about what he's going to be doing here at Hood River Harvest Festival. Starts today, runs through Sunday. Um, you're going to be carving these giant gourds here. Okay. So w how do you do it? Um, well, as big as they are, the, you don't really need power tools. Um, I use these clay tools that I just have to sharpen up a little bit, and it goes right through everything like butter. So uh, these are actually pretty soft. Wow, that's okay. That's incredible. So yeah. over the next few days, people are actually going to be able to see you live carving these things, right? That's right. Okay, so tell me about that. How's that going to work? Okay, um, usually I have to stare at it for a little while and figure out what I'm going to carve. <laughs> sometimes it looks like a face. Sometimes it looks like an animal or a scene. And and uh, this year, I'd like to try to have some pumpkins coming out of the pumpkin. Uh, so I brought a few extras with me, but I also brought some other stuff that you can carve. Uh, for example, half of an apple, you take the skin off and carve some curvy lines and you got little brains. Oh, cute. Uh, these <laughs> course, radishes, creative. when you, uh, you can carve them into flowers, of course, uh, but you can also just skin them and leave the, the root on and they look like an eyeball. Oh. And you can paint the iris and, and just leave that as the optic nerve. Daikon is really great. It, it, it carves very easily, holds a lot of detail. You can make it into a lot of things. Stuff like this, though, makes it possible to do this all year. So um, it doesn't have to just be October. You can carve a butternut squash, carve potatoes, especially sweet potato. Some of them are colored on the inside, like the purple potatoes, carrots. Um, yeah. Pretty much everything is carbon. Okay, so I, th I think that's kind of remarkable. I didn't even think about that. But keep that in your mind, everyone, for when you're <laughs> doing your pumpkin carving parties over the next few weeks. And actually, you might have seen Tom on Food Network. He does this professionally. You're out of Oregon. Um, you're out of Eugene. So you come right. out here, especially for this. That's so cool. Of course, we'll have a link at kptv.com where you can learn more about Hood River Harvest Fest. Again, it starts today at 1 and then Saturday, Sunday at 10. And we'll have a link uh, at kptv.com kptv.com where you can get pick up your tickets they're twelve dollars so when you come through you'll be able to just come in and enjoy all the arts and crafts people see the live pumpkin carving the live music it's really going to be a fun weekend so but for now we'll send it back to you in the studio it sounds like it Gosh, yeah, the, the, the radish so cool. as an eyeball right what a great idea i know what you're doing this weekend I'm no kidding <laughs>